Hello, my name is Rob Garner, I'm a computer programming instructor, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to make a program that um, um, that works with a database or CRUDs a database, create, retrieve, update, and delete. So we're going to make a, a program called a, uh, dbapp.py. <clears throat> and I suppose the first thing we want to do is uh, maybe display data in database. And so we're going to grab our basic SQLite process. Create a connection, create a cursor, and close our database. And then we're going to work with this. So to do that, in here, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make our SQL command equal select. And just to show you what we're using for this, we are going to use the SQL select command. There we go. So the select command it is this one. Select, we specify the columns we want, and then the table we want with a from. So we're going to select, and what we want, sometimes it's useful to look at your, your init. We want these fields. So we can just grab these fields. from TBL demo. And then we are going to cursor.commit or cursor.execute our SQL command. Now and and then we'll say data equals and so this cursor execute returns um, the data that this select query does. And then, um, or actually, we're going to execute this. And then we need to get the data. The way we get the data is we say data is equal to cursor dot fetch all. Why do we need that? Well, the select command will tell the database, please give me all the data with num1 field, num2 field, and string field from table demo. Basically, all the data from table demo. And when we execute that, it will store that information in cursor. But to retrieve it, we have to use this fetch all command and put it into this variable. And so for now, what we'll do is um, we'll do that. And then out here, what we'll do is we will print data and see what we get. And this is what we get. We get a list with three tuples in it. Each tuple represents a line of data with the num1 field, the num2 field, and the string field that we specified. If we did this, and just put two fields, you would see that 
we would only get those two fields. So, um, so this allows us to pick and choose what we want to get from the database. We don't have to get everything if we don't want it. We can, we can get precisely what we want from our database. Now, one other thing we can do is if we don't want to specify, if we are just getting everything, we can put an asterisk here. And if we do that, let's see what we get. And we get the same thing. Now, there is one other field we can get. It's that automatic row ID field. I, I pointed out that there's that row ID. If we get that, notice what we get. We now have an index number here, one, two, three. And that can be very useful. So often we want that index number here. But notice that with um, if we use the asterisk, that's not included. And it's because SQLite kind of treats that separately. So if you want that and use the asterisk, you, you have to do it this way. You say row ID, comma, asterisk. And that gets you the index number as well as all the values.